This is the 14th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies, and it outlines the treads or components method for making a staircase. This one isn't altogether simple, but it's definitely the best way to make stairs if you're more of an experienced SketchUp user. Even if you don't really know what you're doing yet, um, it's good to kind of watch and follow along. You'll get a taste of what you're in for in uh, Chapter 5 when you learn about components. and. Um, it's, it's just kind of good to see more advanced stuff, even when you're kind of a beginner. If you are advanced, then you hadn't thought of making stairs this way, then I think you're in for kind of a treat. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the line tool and draw a single tread for a staircase here. Now, I think the stair is going to be, in this case, I don't know, let's make it six feet wide. So I'm going to type in six feet. And then I'm going to zoom in a little so I can see what I'm doing. I'd like my tread to be probably 12 inches deep just like I usually do. There we go, that's 12 inches. I'm going to come back in this direction, look for that inference. I'm not getting an inference, so let's just hover over that endpoint till I get one. There we go. And then finish that up. And what I've got now is a rectangle that's exactly 6 feet long and 12 inches deep, just like that. And what I'm going to do now is get the push-pull tool and push that, or pull it, I guess, into a box that is exactly six inches high. So I happen to hit six inches right from the get-go there, but let's try that again. I'm gonna say I'd like that to be six inches, type six, enter, and now that thing is exactly six inches high. Okay, so what we've got now is an object that represents basically one stair in our staircase, right? It's six inches high and 12 inches deep, and it's exactly six, inch, six feet, I should say, wide. Now here's the part that you may not have seen before. I'm going to select the entire object, and I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to say Make Component. And when I do that, I'm going to get the Make Component dialog box that pops up, and I'm just going to type in, I'd like that component to be called Tread, and I'm going to hit Create right here. And so what it's done is it's made a component out of uh, this box that I had before, and what I've got sitting here is one instance of that component. Watch what happens if I take the Move tool, and I'm going to turn the Move tool into the Copy tool by hitting Control on the PC or Command on the Mac. There we go, you see the little plus sign that appears. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click up here at the top corner to make a second instance of that component. So what I have is the original one, and then a copy up here. And just like in the Copied Profiles method for SketchUp, I'm going to type in how many additional treads I want. Now, in this case, um, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to type in 11 and X. And what it did there for me is made 10 more. So I've got a total of 12 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. So I've got 12 treads. And the idea is that each tread is an instance of the same component. And the cool thing about components is anything you do to one instance of a component happens to all other instances at the same time. So watch what happens here. I'm just going to double click on any of those instances and now I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit and grab the push-pull tool and push on this and watch what's happening to all the other treads at the same time. They're all being pushed to exactly the same extent. I'm just going to click there to finish push-pulling. Let's pull this out a little ways to make sort of a nosing. And what I have, lo and behold, is a set of treads at exactly the right spacing because of the way that I built that original component instance, but I've got a whole stair that I can do anything to now just because each of those is a component instance. Watch. If I double click on here and let's say I wanted to put, I don't know, a handrail or something like that. Let's say I just wanted to put a little box on the end of each one. I'm going to switch back to the push-pull tool and as I push-pull this up, you'll see that I got that same copy on every single one of those treads. So incredibly powerful way to make stairs all at once, but it requires you to be able to make components. And that's, um, I wouldn't call that exactly beginner stuff. So you probably want to take a look at chapter five to read all about groups and components so that you can do that. All right, finally, I'm going to show you one thing here, and I just think this is neat, which is why I do it. But watch, if I click on this instance, and then I go up and get the line tool, and then I just kind of draw this up, I don't know, maybe 36 inches for a handrail. And then I connect the end of this edge to the end of the edge that corresponds in the next instance of this component. So look how this is an instance of the component. Each of these treads is another instance of the component. And because I drew a, a, a vertical edge in this instance, I'm going to get the vertical edge in this instance as well. I'm going to connect the top of this one to the top of that one 
and then hit escape to end the line and look what it did it actually drew that same diagonal edge in every single instance which gives me an automatic handrail right there on the side of the steps okay so um, that is the end of the video on the treads or components method for making SketchUp uh, there's more information about making components and modifying them and deleting them and all that good stuff in chapter 5 but um, that's the end of this video for chapter 4 of SketchUp for Dummies.